refrigerant out of the system, but we're gonna do something different. Look where I have the sight glass. I have the sight glass on the outlet of the recovery machine. You've always seen me use the sight glass on the inlet of the recovery machine out of the system to prove that it was not removing liquid refrigerant or oil. But this time I put it on the discharge of the recovery machine and we'll see what the difference is. So I'm hooked up to the vapor side is open on the suction side, low side, oops, here and then down here. But the high side liquid is uh, closed. So let's start this up and see what happens. So we're, let's see, we're open. We just opened it. You just seen the pressure go up. Okay, now let's start it. Let's look down here. One. Let's get it clear. Focus, focus. Okay, we'll hear it start. One, two, three, go. There we go. Now let's see what happens. Starting to see that flow of liquid there. Let's get that. Now that's pure liquid. Let me, uh, let me close it off here close that so I just I just closed and you can see the pressure go up because I just closed off its entrance to uh, the tank so right now it's closed here and it's building up pressure in this line right here this is all getting pressure so now you can see you can see the liquid so now I'm going to open it Boom. now it's removing all the liquid that was built up inside here and inside the coils in here. This has a condenser in it. Just like you have the condenser on the car and it turns a vapor to a liquid, this has a condenser inside of it that turns a vapor to a liquid. And as you can see, remember all the green dye I had here? It's gone. All the oil I had in here, it's gone. Tell me why it's gone. Because I took out a clean vapor with no oil in it. And I took that clean vapor and I condensed it down into a liquid, and now I have clean, kind of dry, fresh, pure refrigerant as a liquid, and it's an excellent solvent, and I just use that solvent to clean out my glass and my filter. So now it's clean because refrigerant is the perfect solvent to remove refrigerant oil. Kind of like if you sp spill red wine on a shirt or red wine on a carpet, white wine is a perfect solvent to remove the red wine. And just like if you want to clean your hands, you have oil, but soap dries out your hands, makes your hands crack and itch, use olive oil. Oils remove oils and a solvent that is of the same base of like if you had mineral oil in here you would not use r134 because it's not a hydrocarbon based oil that would uh, a refrigerant that mixes well with a hydrocarbon based lubricant like mineral oil you would use r22 r12 one of the cfc containing oils are an excellent solvent to remove mineral oil well this is poe oil or pava oil and so you would use our 134. So let me shut that again. You can see we're down to minus eight, 101 PSI in the tank. So I'm gonna close it down again because there's only a little bit of vapor in there. And we will watch the high side go up just a little bit because there's not enough mass volume. Okay, so let me open up the high side because now I know there's no liquid in this system. And we'll continue removing. You can see the pressure up there. So you can see it's a uh, very little pressure. It's all vapor in the system. So we're not worried about anything. Now I'll open it again. And you see there's almost nothing coming out. Because just like when you're under vacuum, under pressure, there's not a ma enough mass volume of vapor refrigerant to push the liquid refrigerant. And this is exactly how liquid oil 
starts falling out of the velocity. There's no velocity moving now. So now the liquid oil will stay behind and the oil will stay down in the lowest places and refrigerant will move on top of the oil and go through the system like on the low side. This is how oil gets packed up and stacked in the evaporator because there's not enough mass volume. God, I wish I could make everything out of clear tubes and show you how this works. Um, you have to know how refrigerant and the physics of uh, refrigerant move and flow and how they flash, how they condense, how they absorb and give off and reject heat in your mind's eye because you can't see through a system. And that's how you can diagnose with your hands just by touching things because you know in your mind's eye to you when you're good, you actually can see through the metal and in your mind's eye, you can see in what state the refrigerant is, what exactly it's doing. Is it boiling? Is it liquid? Does it have bubbles in it? Just by touch and feel sounds, your best tool your best piece of equipment in your hand is your brain. Your brain, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your fingers. Those are your best tools. There's a lot you can do with those tools without any instrument. Okay, so we're down to nothingness now. You won't see, to you, it just looks like liquid inside here. There's nothing for you really. Just some clear. You can barely see it move down there. So even though it's not ready yet, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into purge mode. Over here is purge, over here is recover. So what this is gonna do, this is gonna clean out what little refrigerant is still inside the evapor um, the condenser that there's not enough mass flow to get it to all come out. So it will do, uh, that'll do that. One day I'm gonna have to take one of these apart for you and actually show you how they're made inside. All right, so here we're, we're back on and I'm going to flip it over to purge. Watch, there we go. We are now purging. Look at all that liquid. All that liquid was stuck inside the condenser coil inside this unit. And I think uh, one day all these are out of warranty, so I'll, I'll tear down the field piece. It will be a future view, uh, video one day, and I'll tear down the NAVAC recovery unit and show you how the inner workings actually work to better explain what's going on and you can see how the tubing goes. Only minus seven, so we need to go way down to get the rest of it out, so I'll take it back to recovery. So that was just to show you, now we're back on recovery. Now we're drawing down more refrigerant. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next video. That's enough to show you there, and we're starting to gather up a little bit more, a little bit more liquid in there. See ya.